Okay, Initiate, let's finish this. You're almost home. Things have changed a great deal since you left Paris. A great deal to be set right. And we're no closer to finding Germain. That's not entirely true. I have a name. Who? Robespierre. What's all this? Robespierre. He's declared today a festival of the supreme being. A peon to the virtue of the nation and the citizen's duty toward it. Why does that sound familiar? As far as Templar doctrine goes, it's a loose interpretation. We'll never get close to him in the middle of all this. We'd best retire and wait for a better opportunity. Still thinking like an assassin. This time, I have him. Oh? And what would that be? Think like a Templar. Amazing! I thought we were supposed to be rationalists. What he's thinking? Vive Robespierre! Oh, that's lovely! Bravo! The Supreme Being ain't called for Robespierre. I'll eat my hand. What is this? What is this? Pomp and circumstance. What now? Robespierre is unassailable. He's got half the guard out in force. We'll never get within ten yards of him. Just what I said. But he's not as popular as he was. The Purgers, the Supreme Being cult. If we can discredit him, he's finished. A massive public spectacle is the perfect venue. Exactly. Paint him as a dangerous lunatic and his power will evaporate like snow in April. But we'll need some convincing evidence. I have an idea where to start. You coming? Meet me after. I have my own arrangements to make.
Incriminating evidence. Incriminating evidence. A letter. Monsieur Robespierre, take care that you do not allow your personal ambitions to come before the great work. That which we do, we do not for our own glory, but to remake the world into Malay's image. Germain. Interesting, but not particularly. Looks like a diary. At exactly five in the morning, a general recall shall be sounded in Paris. This call shall invite every citizen, men and women alike, to immediately adorn their houses with the beloved colors of liberty, either by rehanging their flags or by embellishing their houses with garlands of flowers and greenery. That's no help at all. Publiciste de la Révolution Française. The day after Marat died. Not quite what I'm looking for. Monsieur, as you have been the savior of the Republic, I beg you now to be my brother's savior as well. Even now he languishes in prison, arrested by patriots more zealous in their heroism than careful in their methods. No warrant for André's arrest was ever issued, and yet he remains imprisoned in Saint-Lazare under suspicion. I pray you do not recall my brother's writings in the Journal de Paris, coming as they did from an intemperate poet's heart. Rather, I beg you, if my own humble skills have been even the smallest of aid to our glorious revolution, spare my brother. In his writings, I see the burgeoning of France's greatest poet, a light that will shine for all time. Yours in patriotism, Marie-Joseph Chenier. Quite what I'm looking for. Merlin, Tallien, Bourdon. These are all deputies of the National Convention. Lists of political figures written in the hand of a man fond of sending his rivals to the guillotine. Yes. You should do nicely. of names. 
50 or so deputies of the National Convention, all written in Robespierre's hand and all opposed to him. I imagine those good gentlemen would be quite interested to know they're on that list. First... Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Distract the guards, I have an idea. Distract the guards? Right. How did I get? Causes hallucinations. This will make him look mad. Now we have to make him look dangerous. The list of names. It must fall into the right hands, anonymously. If our involvement gets out, it'll tip Germain off. Leave that part to me. Thank you. 
Fear no more their sacrilegious conspiracy. They can no more tear the world from the breast of its author than the remorse from their own heart. Let us be generous toward those who are good, compassionate toward the unfortunate, inexorable toward the wicked, just toward everyone. Conduct unbecome me. Who the hell does Robespierre think he is? That should set things in motion. What is it, sir? It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the Republic. To wisdom alone does it belong to consolidate the prosperity of empire. Uh -huh. Being a list of enemies of the revolution. Half a hundred names here. Robespierre's gone too far this time. That set the fox in the hen house. Pity the hens. Now what? We wait. It won't take long. Once Robespierre has lost the support of the people, he'll be no more use to Germain. And when Germain abandons him... He's vulnerable. Let's go. have gone too far in discrediting Robespierre. What's happened? He's been arrested. What? Apparently, he made vague threats about a purge against enemies of the state and the committee turned on him. They're taking him to Luxembourg prison. He threats in the morning. Then we'd best get to him first. the hell? These men were National Guard. Robespierre Bell. Damn if we've lost him. Let's not panic just yet. We might be able to find some sign of what happened. Elise, what happened here? We were ambushed. Troops from the Paris Commune attacked us en route. They were trying to free the prisoners. Did they take Robespierre? I'm not sure. The fighting left me behind. They fell back that way. Merci. Go find yourself a doctor. Oh. If he's still in custody, they'll have taken oh. him to Luxembourg prison. But if not, they'll need to hole up somewhere nearby. They won't get very far with half the city turned out against Robespierre. I'll check the prison. You follow the riot, see if you can pick up a trail. Right. Where did they go? Uh, they went that way. Robespierre. Down there!
God, you made it, sir. The commune stands with you. Thank you, Sergeant. Your loyalty does you credit. Best get inside, sir. The convention soldiers will be here soon. Yes, of course. I place myself in your capable hands. Be it known that the Paris Commune, by dint of its actions protecting the criminal Robespierre, is now in open rebellion against the nation. Soldiers under the command of the National Convention have been dispatched to apprehend the traitor Robespierre and his followers. Citizens are advised to remain in their homes while justice is carried out. Be it further known that citizen Robespierre, citizen Oriol, and all of their allies are declared outlawed. Any citizen found to be aiding these criminals will
Yes, go.
damn him. I sent for them hours ago. Gemma warned me about you. You're one of them, aren't you? An assassin. Not anymore. Where's Germain? Elise. We don't have much time. Where is Germain? I will never talk. Ah! Then write. Ah! 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 The temple. I should have known. I hope you endure revolutionary justice, monsieur. Seize him! We should split up. I'm not sure that's... Less chance we both get caught that way. I suppose that's true. We'll rendezvous inside. If you get a shot at Jamma, you take it. Germain's built himself quite a fortress. I can't see any weak spots.
as if you're trying to mess it up my domain, you horse and... that? So the prodigal assassin returns. I suspected as much when Latouche stopped sending his tax revenue. I will fight you. You... Here. Germain's got some kind of weapon. I've never seen its like before. 
He got away from me. He didn't come past me. He must... There as well. This is quite the reunion. Stay hidden. Keep him talking. Did you think this day would never come? That because Francois de la Serre had no sons to avenge him, that your crime would go unanswered? Revenge, is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide a vision was your grab for Scout power? all you like. Makes no difference. Hello, Sashi. Power? No, 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 no. You're smarter than that. This was never about power. It's always been about control. Did your father teach you nothing? The order has grown complacent. The darkness cannot protect you. abandoned our purpose. Caught in the very lie we crafted to shepherd the masses. Do you think yourself safe in your shadows? I'll kill you. I... And you think that will accomplish anything? In the wake of revolution, the order will adapt. You cannot hide from me, boy. They will return laughable. Skulk all you like. It makes no difference. Oh, please, you'll have to do better than that. They, they will retreat to the shadows. We will. They will retreat to the shadows, and we will, at last, be the secret masters we were meant to be. Do you think yourself safe in your shadows? Here you are! So kill me! So kill me, if that will slake your thirst for revenge. It changes nothing. I, I will find, find you. Me. We'll have to take him together. I... I grow tired of waiting. I'm almost free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise!
Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah, a particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. And I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here's we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would, to pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. 
even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves. centuries before it started. Well done, kid. Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are gonna be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear with this, Sage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arnold's memories for anything else he might have seen, like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it.